Yes. All right. So thank you so much. Very feeling very excited to have the Hochschule Augsburg, Margarita Pekovic. She is in charge of, she's heading the internet. No, she's in the, in, in the marketing um, department in charge of uh, screening your applications. So she will give us all the tips and how we can successfully submit applications to the university. This is the university that I studied. So I'm very, very proud and proud alumni of the Hochschule in Augsburg. I did international management. I did the old uh, degree program diploma. And I'm very also happy to have Ben Kilel, also from Kenya. He's also an alumni from the Hochschule in Augsburg who had um, a very smooth path than some of us because he was able to get a scholarship during his study. So that's why we decided to bring him today so that he can add now, uh, he can give us some tips on how you can get all these um, scholarships and all these opportunities. And we also have uh, Gulen, uh, also currently a student at the Hochschule, who will also mention to us a bit about her experience. She'll share her experience about the Hochschule. So, I will start by uh, introducing our network, what we do. So I'm originally from Kenya. I've been in Germany for quite some time, close to 20 years. And I'm very, very passionate to, see, to build bridges between Germany and Africa, Germany and Kenya in terms of academia and in business area, business sectors. So we have the information hub where we inform students and professionals about career and business opportunities in Germany and back home and uh, we don't do this alone we have a team we have a team we have amazing mentors who are ready to work so if you're a student right now i'm going to show you briefly our website i'll show you where you can find the mentor who can work with you and then we start with the program so let me share my screen and then i show you our company Okay. So, okay. So, can you all see my screen? I sure. Yes. Okay. So, this is the, the platform. I'm trying to minimize this. Yes. So, you can, if you go to the homepage, you can see um, we have different sectors. We have the career. You can see now studying in Germany, working in Germany, in Germany, research, and you can also see some of the live sessions. I don't know why I have an echo. Maybe because of this. Okay, all right. Anyway, let me go back. If you go to the scholarships, we have a section for scholarships. So we have uh, current scholarships and past scholarships. So you can also prepare for the next intake, if you missed this intake, most of the scholarships are normally the same. We also have a section for businesses. You can see the business opportunities. If you click in there about doing business in Germany, business opportunities, we have also a business directory with German and African companies that have a connection to Africa. Yeah, so that is the setup behind it. We have a section for events and we have jobs. So we, we are very keen on supporting brain gain so that is why we have here, we feature job openings with German international companies that are hiring here and back in African countries. And of course we have our services. Have yeah. So this is where we also help students, international students looking for opportunities in Germany. If you click in there, then you'll be able to see what exactly we do. You can book for a session here, a free session, and we'll be able to advise you on the best, how, let me say the best approach, yeah. And I'll show you one more section about our mentors. Yes, we have amazing mentors. These are all mostly Kenyans, and we also have other, other uh, students from African countries. They are not students anymore. So they did different things. Some of them did their PhD in Germany. You can actually see indicated. We can, you can see the name of the degree program they did and where they studied and what they're actually doing. Some of them have gone back home. So like now the first three are happy returnees. They've gone back home. Cynthia Kamau is doing an amazing work, heading a program where they're helping returnees to relocate back to their home country. So they 
also do top-ups and funding, et cetera, et cetera. You can check out our profile. If you scroll down, you can see not all of them are doctors, yeah, but we, you can see like where they studied and what exactly they did. Like Betty Rono came here with an exchange program uh, in Berlin with Alexander von Hubold. She was a fellow there in the climate protection program. So if you're interested in that, you can check out her profile. We have a medical doctor. We have um, Philly who went to Goethe Institute and she studied um, public relations or it's called publicist. Yeah, feel in touch. We have an Africa Com fellow. We have Alan Mtagwaba, also an alumni from the Hochschule in Augsburg. He has his own company here in Augsburg. He's bringing coffee, exporting coffee all the way from, from um, Tanzania to Germany. Uh, so you see, you can also finish your study and establish your own company. We have Mshai also doing an amazing things, and she's been doing a, a social, she's been doing several projects in Kenya. So the list is long. You can see the many. So feel, 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 uh, just go down the, the list and check. We have a pharmacist. We have a medical doctor, or who also relocated back to Kenya. Uh, we have um, Elizabeth Holyman also teaching us about. She's a cognitive coach, so she's here to even help us to have that work-life balance and to fight issues of racism, for example. We have uh, an amazing story of Wamboi Kimani. She, she, did, uh, she studied here briefly. She did her nursing training, went back to Kenya and followed her, her passion of, train, of uh, studying in Kenya as a lawyer. So all those options are possible. You don't have to really like squeeze yourself here. Yeah. And lastly, we have uh, Carol. She has, she's from Kenya. She has a, a, a restaurant in Germany. So there are so many options. Yeah. So you don't necessarily have to like uh, stick to academia. You can also find a mentor who can mentor in your area of interest. So the list is long. And yeah, so that was a brief introduction. Let me stop sharing my screen now. And I, we work, as I said, we work um, with, with, with partners and one of the partners joined us today, Kumbi Rai Chibadza, he's from Zimbabwe, an amazing, an amazing uh, Pan-Africanist who is really trying to build the bridges. So we, we do, we've been pushed, we have been pushing a lot of projects together. And uh, he also has a German school. He's teaching um, students back in Zimbabwe, German. So. Fantastic. Kumbirai, let us uh, hear from you. Let us know who is Kumbirai. I know you, but the viewers don't know who Kumbirai is. And then now we can start with the agenda. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Caroline, and for the amazing work that you're doing and for the kind words. Uh, well, we are teaching not in Zimbabwe, but in Africa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then, uh, yeah, thank you for that. Uh, all protocols observed. Uh, thank you for everyone who's tuned in, taking their time uh, to be with us today as well. Uh, so, yeah, in short, uh, Deutsch Connect is a German based <laughs> startup that links African and German businesses through B2B matchmaking, market linkages, talent acquisition, as well as investment. Uh, we have uh, our core focus is also in terms of empowering young people and women. We also believe uh, in getting young people into the German market. We believe that it's not brain drain, but it's actually brain gain for the knowledge, skills, uh, expertise, and networks that is that is gained uh, in a first world country. We believe that uh, we believe in also working towards building Africa, uh, including those in the diaspora, to be able to pay their part. We, Africa does not need aid, it needs jobs, it needs investment, and we in the diaspora also have a role to play. Uh, thank you, Caroline, for such an event. Uh, thank you, Frau Pekovic, uh, for also taking your time in order to give our young people as well in Africa the opportunities that your university offers. And such in initiatives are very important for also, we also talk about smart migration. Young people from Africa should come in a regular manner, in the correct manner. And in this, in studying, this is what part of smart migration as well. Uh, lastly, we, we do do uh, online German courses now for people who want to come to Germany as skilled immigrants, as students, uh, or even social year volunteers. So thank you. I don't want to take too much time. Uh, over back to you, Caroline. Cheers. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much, Kumbirai. Uh, I'll drop his link. You can also check what they're doing. Amazing work. Also, uh, the startup scenario, trying to, co to connect the ecosystems between Germany and Africa. 
And uh, so the, I, I've sent two links. We have a, a, a Telegram group. So if you would like to join the Educa Rehab community, feel free to join the Telegram group. We also have a WhatsApp. You can get all of us uh, through the WhatsApp. I've shared the number. And now I'll hand over the microphone to Frau Pekovic uh, from uh, the Hochschule in Augsburg to take us through. Let us know why, why should we choose the University of Applied Sciences, which kind of degree programs do they offer, what are there any scholarships for international students, because that's normally the, myth, the first question that students ask. And, and one of the tips we give to students is if you would like to study in Germany, don't concentrate on going to the big cities because the competition is very high and everyone wants to go to Berlin, to Munich, to Stuttgart. So you can also check for these small universities like Augsburg is not far away from Munich. It's about 80 kilometers from Munich and big companies like KUKA uh, for, the, for the robots and, and um, MRN for the trucks, the diesel trucks are also there offering amazing opportunities for startups, for, 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 for students, sorry. We also have Siemens and many others. So it's a nice small city. I enjoyed studying there. It is a lot cheaper than Munich, but has fantastic programs. So that's why our goal is to bring as many such small universities as possible so that we can, we can um, let me say, know where all these opportunities exist. So thank you so much, uh, Margarita, for taking your time. So feel free, let us know why should we come to the Fuga start. <laughs> Thank you, Caroline. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm very happy to be today here with all of you. It's nice to see you. Thank you for coming and organizing this event. As Caroline already said, I am Margareta Perkovic and I am working at the International Office at Augsburg University of Applied Sciences, where I'm responsible for international marketing. And one of my tasks uh, is to help all of the international students uh, to becoming a student uh, at our university. Therefore, I prepared a presentation today. Uh, and at the end of my presentation, uh, our student, uh, Gailene, will join us and tell you uh, some of the reasons why she decided to study at our university. Uh, so uh, let's start with the presentation. At the beginning, I also prepared a couple of words uh, about our city, about Augsburg. Uh, maybe some of you already heard and know where Augsburg situated is, but for those who doesn't know, uh, Augsburg is a small city in the south uh, of Germany. We are a part of Bavaria, which is well known for its beautiful landscapes and its attractions such as Neuschwanstein Castle, which you can see on this picture, or for example, Oktoberfest in Munich. Augsburg itself, as Carolyn already said, is very close to Munich. It takes only 30 minutes uh, by train to get there. And if you're interested in um, some of the winter sports, maybe uh, the Alps or Lake Constance are also pretty close as well. However, there is another fact uh, that is very important to mention at the beginning and that, is that we do not have uh, tuition fees in Bavaria. So if you decide to study with us at our university, you do not have to pay tuition fees, but only just um, a registration fee in approximately of amount from uh, 120 euros uh, each semester. Well, uh, that's Bavaria, but of what offers Augsburg to you as a city? It is a city with many sites uh, and attractions. Uh, for example, here on the top, you can see our city hall. It's a very popular spot, not only for tourists, but also for all of us that are living in Augsburg. Or on the right side, you can also see our soccer club in action. This is one of the most famous um, sports uh, here. Um, um, in Augsburg, and we are part of our uh, national um, championship called Bundesliga. However, Augsburg is also a student city with a large student population. Most of them are living in student dorms or in flat shares. Uh, for example, Augsburg has six dormitories only for students. And this uh, kind of uh, living is very popular amount of students because you are able to find friends very quickly and it's cheaper uh, from other two alternatives. And these are shared apartments or living alone if you prefer 
this kind of accommodation. Augsburg University is situated in um, directly in the city center. Therefore, student housing, dormitories, uh, supermarkets, shops, uh, coffees, or even clubs are just around the corner. So in Augsburg, you can find a bunch of different opportunities to clear your mind from study stress. Here at this uh, slide, you can also see some of the activities in Augsburg. Uh, hockey uh, is very popular here. We also organize a medieval summer festival. Um, you can see one of our famous parks. And um, yeah, in Augsburg, uh, you can feel pretty com comfortable, comfortable and um, it feels um, very safe. Now, the most important part, our university. This is Augsburg University of Applied Sciences. It has two main campuses on this uh, slide. You can see just one small part of our um, campus and Augsburg University of Applied Sciences has been founded in 70 years, but its roots are much older. We are a medium-sized university with 6,700 students um, and more than 10% of them come from abroad. However, we are not only welcoming international students from all over the world, but we also have many cooperation with other universities to offer a study abroad experience to our students. For example, we have a cooperation with Technical University in Kenya, and so before this challenging Corona times, we were able to, um, uh, to host a um, delegation from the Technical University of Kenya at our university as part of uh, one um, project. And uh, the focus was uh, at um, getting known our university and practice-based teaching and studies. At our university, uh, we have seven faculties these are architecture and civil engineering, design, liberal arts and sciences, business, mechanical and process engineering, computer science, and electrical engineering. And if you wish, uh, you can also make a PhD with us. So at our university, we do offer a full study cycle. We also have uh, several um, international study programs on bachelor and master level, which are either taught in English or combined in German language. For example, uh, one of the newest bachelor programs uh, at our university is um, International Information Systems at Faculty of Computer Science. And I will tell you a couple of words more about it afterwards. And International Management at the Faculty of um, Economics and International Management and Engineering. These uh, bachelor programs even are either, either starting in, Germ in English language or in German, but they offer um, study abroad experience such as practical uh, work abroad. So you have uh, also opportunity to do some of the uh, parts of these programs in English. When we are talking about uh, master programs, we have several ones uh, which are um, combined with English language. These are interactive media systems, industrial security and safety, international business and finance, which is one of our uh, most popular master programs because it's completely taught in English and mechatronic systems. I would like to use this opportunity to introduce you our newest bachelor program at the computer uh, at the Faculty of Computer Science, which is International Information Systems, which is very uh, popular with, among all the international students because it's uh, the only bachelor program um, at our university, which is completely starting in English. So um, if you uh, are not uh, fit in German language, you still have time to learn uh, German language until fourth of the semester, uh, from which um, the lectures are starting in German language. And um, in fact, uh, this program is a very good opportunity or example to explain you who we are and what is the difference between university and University of Applied Sciences. So I repeated a couple of times that we are University of Applied Sciences, but maybe you ask yourself the whole time, what does it mean? It means, first of all, that our 
at our university, we are not only teaching theoretical sure. projects and case studies in cooperation with companies and other institutions are part of our learning environment. Or in other words, to say, during your study, you uh, already have uh, the possibility to uh, get to know all of the companies in this region or maybe find um, your uh, job even during your studies. Uh, secondly, our professors had to work several years before they were appointed to become a professor at our university. So that means that they do have strong links to regional economy and can recommend you in which way you should orient, uh, orient yourself during your studies. Um, also at our university, we organized a special um, office called Career uh, Service International, which is, uh, uh, which is a special uh, office uh, who has the main task of advising and supporting international students finding um, suitable job opportunities in Germany. And they uh, are teaching you how to um, write a good CV, how to um, find your, your find job opportunities for yourself on German market and many other activities to help you orient it and help you find the suitable um, options for you so that you can start uh, in this uh, career wor world during your studies or afterwards. And last but not the least, our mission is that our students become South Africa personalities. Therefore, our university supports student engagement. We have several student clubs and initiatives um, such as GP Primus or Student Council or Starkstrom. Starkstrom is a group of students from different faculties from our university, which built each year an electric racing car. At the top corner, you can see them celebrating after winning a competition. To support our students, we also offer awards for student engagement, scholarships, and specialized service units, such as International Career Service that are already mentioned, or the International Office, which I am also a part of. International Office is responsible to advise and support international students and will help you throughout your studies. In other words, if you have any questions or doubts uh, regarding studying and you need help um, with the application procedure, we are there for you. So do not uh, hesitate to contact us anytime or just ask the questions maybe afterwards in this session. Uh, now I came to the end of this official part of my presentation. Here you can see my email address. And um, as already mentioned, you can contact me anytime if you have any questions regarding study programs at our university. And now I will stop sharing my screen so that uh, my student, our student from Augsburg University, Galin, um, can tell you uh, some of the, to introduce herself at the beginning and tell you some of the reasons why she decided um, to study at our university, uh, in which study program is she at, and give you maybe a couple of interesting advices. What can you do in Augsburg as a student or where you can find accommodation? for yourself. So Gailene, thank you very much for coming today and taking your time. And I would like to ask you to introduce yourself shortly. Thank you, Margarita. My name is Gilen Monte. I'm a Cameroonian student. I live in Augsburg, Germany uh, for six years now. Actually, I'm in France, Le Havre, for my uh, exchange semester. Erasmus program. Uh, I study international management in the Faculty of Business since uh, October 2017. So, uh, what I can say about us book is that it's a very nice city, as you just presented. It's not that as uh, Munich, but you have a a very great life standard. You can find anything you like. You don't have to travel 
far to get anything. And um, I think for students, it's also interesting because we have uh, job opportunities. Uh, we have uh, facilities for accommodation and um, they are very nice there, very understanding. So now I'll say why I choose um, the Hochschule Ausbruch. So at first, uh, I applied in um, Erlangen, that is where I got my vision, because Ausbruch did not have a language, uh, German languages for those in Cameroon. So I had to come first of us here, but I have a, I had friends who live in Ausbruch, so they were the one who welcomed me and later on I had the chance to find a place in the, at the university where I prepare for the DSA, the, the, the Deutsch uh, lesson you need to attend your courses. Then um, I found there that uh, Hochschule's book is well ranked among university in Germany. So I was, um, I was very pleased to, to think that I can study in a very well reputed university. And uh, as an English speaking, because I had a bachelor in Cameroon, I wanted to learn Germany, but I want, also wanted to have some facility while study because it's not always easy to study in a new language. That is why I choose international management but not only for um, language barrier problem, but also because I'm interested in, um, in business, in marketing and uh, logistic. That's the two major course I want to do. So now I am in my sixth semester and uh, it's true I had to lose like one and a half year or almost two years of my study because I gave birth. And uh, I have to say, it, it was very nice to know that uh, at the university you could get support. That's also a good point to bring up that when you become a mother or when you become a parent, you are not alone. There are offices that assist you to get all the information you need. You have all the information you want to follow your study up. And uh, apart from that, yeah, it's very nice to be there. Thank I'm you. Very happy. Maybe yeah. you could so, tell us just a couple of words about your Erasmus semester and how did you apply for it? About my? Erasmus semester, for those who doesn't know what Erasmus yes. is. Erasmus is an exchange program where you can go all over Europe and also in some country that are not in European uh, country like America, China. But um, you have to apply like one year before to select, to be selected. It's a long process and uh, you have the opportunity to discover new culture, new people and uh, have like more practice in your study in your study. So that's what I'm doing now in France in a business school, a very well repeated business school in the half for like I'm um, here yeah, for one semester, but you can also do it for one year if you wish to have a, a double degree. Thank you very much, Galin. Thank you for this great information. You're welcome. Thank you so much, Glenn. I actually also went to, I also took a similar program and I went to France for a week with the same, with the same, uh, the same program and everything was catered for. So we had to learn French at the university, which was quite tough. And we, we spent a week and somewhere, I can't remember where, I think South of France. So that was quite interesting meeting even other international students. So mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the exposure you get at the university is, is, quite, is quite amazing. And I wish you the very best, even as you finish up. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. Yeah. Um, I would like to say like a few words, if you allowed me. Um, something I didn't mention oh. is that 
from Hong University. Now I'm getting my financial support for Erasmus, but normally as a student from the third semester, you can apply for one to, to get her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Gulen. Well, your name is a bit <laughs> <laughs> And thank you so much, Margarita, for the wonderful presentation. I, I, I love such short and compact presentations because they, they leave, they raise the curiosity. So I click people can now go to the website and, and Google. Uh, I've, I've dropped a link. You can see some of the programs offered at the university. And uh, before, before we give the, the microphone to, bon, to Ben, one of the things that I also liked about the university is about the accommodation for students. So like if you go to bigger cities like Munich, it takes, it's very difficult to get a, 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 the student hostels. Like if you want to go to really, really those nice student hostels. Whereas in Augsburg, you can easily get a student hostel and everything. This very self-contained apartment with everything inside and the price is, is not, you cannot compare it with Munich. So there's so many benefits. So you can check through the program, check the website and see if you find any interesting course. And you can definitely get in touch with Margarita or with, with us, and then we can discuss the next details. So Ben, Ben was also <laughs> there. Let yes. us know your experience at the Hochschule Augsburg. <laughs> Thank you very much for this opportunity, Carol. Um, I'm really delighted to be with you this afternoon. Um, thank you for inviting me. That is the most important thing. Um, I wasn't expecting that you are going to invite me anytime soon because I've been a silent uh, follower of your career, ag, agcareerhub.com. Um, but I'm really glad to, uh, for me to have you, uh, actually for you to have me here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, um, let me start by introducing myself. Um, I am uh, ben Kilel, I come from. I come originally from Kenya. I am actually um, a junior to um, Caro. Caro is my senior in uh, in in uh, Oxford, Oxford, or University of Applied Sciences in Oxford. Uh, when I joined, we actually met in a in a bus. Actually, it was a tram, right? And uh, she asked me where I come from, and I told her that I was in, uh, I was coming from Kenya. And she asked me what I'm doing in Oxford. I told her that I was studying in Oxford, and she was really interested. And I was wondering what could be the problem with <laughs> with her. I didn't know that uh, actually through her I was getting exposed to a lot of things. Actually, she mentored me. Um, after I realized that I was in the first semester in international management um, and she was in a senior, I think it was on the, almost finishing, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she mentored me, she showed me a lot of things, tips, a lot of tricks uh, to go about in, in a student life because, you know, with us as international students, um, who came here through a free mover um, program, not in Erasmus, not in an exchange program. It is uh, it's something that is actually um, a, a greenfield. You don't know what is happening. You don't know. You have to have that, um, you know, somebody who is showing you the places and showing you things. And during those times, we didn't have such information uh, hubs or information uh, websites where you could find some information about, uh, you know, going about your studies and what you expect in, in the first place. So actually it was, we, we were surviving on the networking. I mean, on somebody who knows someone who knows somebody and, and the rest. Now, um, coming back, um, I finished my studies in Augsburg, uh, my bachelor studies um, in international management. I majored in finance, um, corporate finance in that case. So, um, and then um, before I finished, I went to uh, Kenya to do my 
internship because you have an option at that time. I don't know if it's the same uh, at, at this moment, but at, at that time you had an option in the sixth semester to go either for a semester abroad or an internship. So I decided to go on an internship um, uh, to Kenya. And then uh, I did my internship in, in, a, in a German company in Nairobi. Um, and uh, before that, again, yeah, um, I, was, um, I was one of the students who were actually not that good not doing uh, I, I was not doing that good in in school and i was not i was also not that bad yeah so um well what helped me is that uh, i was socially engaged um starting from kenya i was um i had a lot of uh, engagement in, in in social uh social um, uh, uh, things um, I was part of the people who, um, 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 you know, came up with an idea to uh, create a, um, a, a community-based organization that could help the uh, people to sensitize. Uh, you know, that could that could help the population in Kenya or my my where I come from in Kericho um, to sensitize them about the pandemic. I mean, the HIV pandemic. It was a pandemic at that time, and I, I believe that it's still pandemic in Africa, um, and um, and other engagements. So those engagements actually uh, gave me a plus uh, when it comes to you know. Uh, deciding or the university is deciding to take you uh, in. Now, uh, those engagements also um, really helped me because um, when I joined the, the, um, the University of Augsburg, I mean, in applied University of Augsburg, um, um, as I said, I met Caro and Caro was also helping the students um, uh, Erasmus students to get to know the place, you know, bringing them, taking them to the, to 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 bank or taking them to the to the, to the administration to be registered as as you know uh, students and, and 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 such kind of things, and um, actually um, when Carol left, then uh, she left me with that job, and um, we we I think we did it perfectly actually <laughs> um and and that actually landed me in um that really helped me um when it came to um stube it's called a student recycling program that is um the students that are coming from africa asia and latin america uh, who are studying in germany so they come uh, uh, together on a weekend and discuss about um, you know issues affecting their countries and try to come up with solutions and um, it is being financed by the um, evangelical church and actually that is what really helped me um, to get some points or to earn some points for me to be a candidate of uh, of, of scholarship so uh, in the end I ended up um, in the third semester, I guess, uh, I was nominated as a, as, as a candidate for um, scholarship uh, from the evangelical uh, church, evangelical uh, AED, and that is now part of, it's, it's no longer existing, it's part of Prout Fidivelt. And um, that really helped me a lot because um, I have to admit, I was one of those students who were uh, actually struggling to get the, you know, uh, you know, the, the, um, the money, you know, to, um, to finance my stay here in Germany, as you have seen uh, from the, from uh, Margareta, is that uh, the, the, the um, you know, the fees, we, do, we don't pay fees here in Germany, but uh, the most expensive thing is the cost of living and the insurance. Now, um, you have to part around uh, with around 500 to uh, 700 i don't i don't know what what the range nowadays but i think at most uh, 700 euros in a, in a in a month um that goes to all the living costs and insurances now um to get that you really need to work hard i mean if you don't have 
in um, any scholarship, then you really have to work hard and um, and and maybe you can survive on on, on, on part-time jobs. Now um, that really helped me to concentrate on my studies and um, and as I said, um, you know you should have as a student or as an as an, uh, a person who's actually looking forward to coming to Germany, um, you know extracurriculum activities or actually um, yeah such things like social engagement or doing something it will earn you a lot of points uh, to go higher and higher um well i think um those are the, <laughs> the main points that i have at the moment um well uh it also um this experience has also helped me a lot to um find my job because um I, 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 I completed uh, my bachelor studies. I went, of course, I went to uh, for masters in a different university, but also in um, in a, in a um, Oxule or actually University of Applied Sciences. Um, the main reason I, I chose uh, University of Applied Sciences is that um, you know, it not only gives you the uh, theoretical part. Or, or the theory, but it also uh, introduces you to what is being expected out there in the in the in the corporate world, or if you want to go private or something, if you want to to start your own company, you want to do entrepreneurship, then um, it really helps you um, to, to 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 get acquainted to such issues, and and you you really know where to go after this. So actually, um, the practical part of it, for example, um, 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 I'm talking on the, on the finance and accounting point of view, uh, is that um, it helps you, for example, to show you how to file the tax returns. The tax returns in Germany is quite, uh, 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 I, I won't say a nuisance, but it's a complex uh, thing to do. And actually, I remember the basics uh, that I was taught in, in, in uh, Hochschule Augsburg uh, and the theory part that, uh, the, not even theory, but the practical, because the professors uh, really brought to us, to us the forms that we actually had to do it as, 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 a, uh, as if it was real, you know? So um, it really helped us, or it really helped me with my career and, uh, well, um, everything went went well, and uh, after that, and I secured a job, and I'm working now in uh, accounting department. Uh, I'm responsible for closing. I mean, the month end closure, and uh, you know, um, year end closure, and reporting uh, for some companies uh, here in uh, Yetting and Um That is around uh, around 50, 60 kilometers away from. Uh, from Augsburg towards uh, towards the west, towards Stuttgart. Yes. So um, basic line is, or the bottom line is, um, if you want to go into a practical, or if you, if you want to do something practical, um, then you please uh, go to um, uh, Hochschule or University of Applied Sciences, mm -hmm. um, as opposed to uh, going to the university uh, itself. So, um, well, maybe to mention is that um, I'm also a part-time lecturer in uh, in uh, it's called DHBV. That is a, a um, it's a it's a cooperative university, um, cooperative university in the sense that. Uh, um, um, you know the students go to to the university to get the, 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 the theory part for let's say six six months in a year, and then they go they break uh, and go to the company and do the the, the practical part in uh, for the rest of the uh, the six months of the year. So the student is basically earning some money uh, by studying. You know, mm -hmm. so actually it really helps. Um, and um, maybe uh, we should do we should do another session, um, Carol, 
yeah. so that we can uh, have a look at it and uh, in in depth. So for today, we were talking about uh, Hochschule Augsburg as an alumni. So I'm, I'm just here as an alumni at the, at the moment. Yeah. So um, well, and uh, for for the rest of the students, the, or actually the upcoming students who want to come to Augsburg, I would actually highly recommend uh, for the reasons that um, you know outspoke I used to live in some place where there was an old grandma and uh, she 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 told me she was my neighbor and she told me outspoke is historic and hysteric so <laughs> <laughs> and I can attest to that uh, outspoke is a vibrant uh, yeah. uh, uh, university or actually outspoke is, is a vibrant city uh, which needs a lot of students, especially from 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 different parts of the world, so that we can make it uh, an international more than ever. Thank you very much, and I appreciate. Wow! Thank you so much, Ben. Thank you so much, Ben. Uh, I think uh, he's uh, Bernard is a story of. of, of I keep telling students, don't just concentrate on the notes. And don't fear mingling also with German students, the German culture. In be engaged at the university, and you can see out of his engagement, I pull him to the international office. So we used to work in the international office. So if you are a student, also approach the international office, go to Margarita and ask them, do you have a student job for me? And not necessarily for money, but you can also, it will help you to add a lot of weight to your CV, you can easily get recommendation letters for scholarships, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And you can even like help other students. So this is, we started it long time ago. Thank you so much for your story. We have a few questions. Uh, maybe should I read them out or you're going to answer them, Margarita, as we go on? Yeah, maybe I saw a couple answer the of ones questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can answer it okay. right now. It was regarding uh, application procedure for uh, bachelor and master programs. I already sent a couple of links because we made uh, guidelines for application um, separately, one for bachelor programs and second one for the master programs, but because the procedure is not uh, the same. But for all of you uh, that you are interested in a bachelor program at our university, we have a couple of steps that needs to be followed while applying. And one of them for all of you who didn't uh, finish your previous uh, education in Germany, um, but abroad, you have to get all your documents and school certificates checked via one institution called UniAssist, which is uh, situated in Berlin. So that would be um, the first step that you um, need to do. Afterwards, uh, there are some of the documents that you submit, uh, have to submit to our university um, via post. I know this um, thing when uh, the students have to send documents via post is not very popular among uh, uh, all of you, but uh, it's uh, the procedure that we have to follow. So you're doing the uh, application once online and once uh, sending the documents uh, that we need uh, via post. And for the master um, programs, it depends which bachelor program you already have and for which bachelor program you are willing um, to apply. So um, maybe the best step would be to check the master or bachelor programs you're interested in at our university webpage because uh, they are already mentioned all the procedure and application steps you need to follow. But um, I also sent you my email address via chat. So uh, you can contact me um, regarding any question that you um, may have because sometimes these guidelines are not easy to follow and maybe you uh, need support uh, with this application questions. Uh, also our international office is organizing a variety of uh, online info sessions, also via Zoom, where in which we are preparing the students um, on the on these topics on how to apply at our university. So the best way would be to contact us, and we can give you uh, the dates when we have our info sessions or consultation hours, or we can answer just your emails, um, your question via email. 
there was just uh, there was another question regarding um, scholarships that we have and Carolyn uh, had just sent the link about it in chat. We have one colleague um, at um, our international office which has um, only um, consultation hours on this topic scholarship. So after you um, gather some of the basic information about scholarship at our web page, um, also the best option would be to send us email, you can send me the email and I will forward it to my colleagues and they will get back uh, to you with the links for the scholarship with the dates until um, when you have to apply for it, which documents you have to submit. So um, don't be afraid, just contact us, we are there for you. And as Carolyn already uh, mentioned, um, that's true. We do offer uh, also at international office, the um, part-time jobs for our students. Uh, we have um, started one um, very interesting in, in initiative or a small project uh, called uh, international mentoring, where you also have to the possibility to uh, get a small uh, part-time job, uh, to get in contact with new colleagues, uh, help them becoming also student at our university. And um, maybe what I forgot to say earlier, we have started also one very interesting project in last years, uh, which helps you uh, gather all the information if you wanted to start your own job here in Germany to have your own uh, company. We also have this uh, uh, topic at our university. Our professors are helping you to gather uh, all the information to start one startup for you. Um, we are um, the university of many, many possibilities. You just have to do one thing and that is contact us uh, and we will uh, give you all the information that you may need. And maybe just an, an interesting fun fact, I'm working here at this university, but I, but I didn't study in Germany. I am born in Croatia. So even um, maybe at this point, if you are still not fit in German language, I was also not fit uh, four years ago in German, but there is always a way for everything. And we also um, offer a preparatory courses for all the international prospective students and students that are also already at our university. So you have the possibility to learn uh, German language with us at the university and variety of uh, foreign languages if you are interested um, in these topics. So uh, thank you very much once again. And um, yeah, just contact me anytime. Thank you for answering the questions. I have uh, also a point to add on, uh, like about financing, because it's always the major hindrance for many students. It is not easy to get an undergraduate scholarship when you're out of Germany. But when you're here, you've done about one, let me say two to three semesters like Ben, you can easily approach a few organizations and see if they can fund you for your degree program. However, for master programs, it's a different story but there are also requirements. So this really depends on the, on the scholarship. So the best thing is to check the links that I shared. We also have a few scholarships on our website. Check and get to see if you meet the requirements. The third item about financing, you can also, um, if you don't get the scholarship, you can organize. The only other option is to get a blocked account. So you need to have like 10,000 euros on your blocked account. And this money is released every month. So, and this money is actually enough to cater for all your student costs. So you don't have to pay for extra money unless you go and study in one small, in one state in Germany, the Baden Württemberg, where you have to pay the tuition fee. But this money is normally enough to cater for your bills. And once you're here, international students are allowed to work for 120 days per year. So, which is actually also enough. I mean, you came here to study, not to work and buy Porsche or a German machine. So, <laughs> so these are all possible options. We started with very low budget and we managed. And when, when you come here, focus on your studies, concentrate on your studies and don't, don't follow the club. The, uh, the <laughs> don't lose your focus. That's the thing, yeah. 
So if you have any other questions, I think you can ask. If not, then um, anyone with a question which we have not answered, if not, then I will end the session or anyone with a remark. Okay, sure, I have a remark. I have one, at least a comment. Okay, I thank for the catch up, at least we updated on the city. We can see Augsburg is a lovely city. It's a lovely environment. It's just a thank, thanks for the presentation and also for the... Yeah, yeah go ahead. I've muted the person. Okay. Uh, thank you once again. I'm Charlton from Nairobi, actually. I would like to appreciate you very much for your time. It is really inspiring. And uh, I've tried so many links concerning with the scholarship programs, but actually I can see that these are God sent one. I believe that I'll get a chance here. Yeah. I just want to appreciate you. And I hope for the best. Thank you once again. <laughs> Thank you, Charles and Steven. Yeah. Looks like we have finished the runde. The runde is for by. <laughs> Learn German, by the way. Don't come here and uh, stick to English. You need, you need the, if you want to access the job market, you need to learn the language. There is no other option. <laughs> uh, there's someone who have a question here, Anne, Caroline. But my microphone has an issue. What if I have a German citizen to sponsor my stay in Germany? As I say, do I need the blocked account? No, if you have someone who can sponsor you, then you need to get the financial obligation. But there are also requirements for the financial obligation. That's also the other option, uh, which you, which now takes takes care of um, of your of your financial support. So you don't have to show the blocked account, but you can go with the financial obligation. Yeah. So thank you from my side, Sabrina. Sabrina has raised her hand. Sabrina, or um, hello. Sorry, I'm a late comer. No um, problem. I'm 16 years old and I go to the French school. And I was wondering uh, if, because I'm interested in medical studies, uh, if in Augsburg, the medical studies are only exclusively in German or are they available in another language? Mm -hmm. It's a good question. Maybe I can answer it quickly. Um, that's uh, also uh, a little bit of confusing for all of um, international students that in Augsburg we have two universities. One is uh, University uh, of Applied Sciences or Hochschule Augsburg. I work at this un university. And the second one is um, Normal General University and uh, it's called University of Augsburg. So at our university, we do not have medical studies. Maybe um, you should check for this information at the web page of University of Augsburg, which uh, I can send you the link in the chat in a few seconds. Okay, thank you. I could add on that. Thank you, Margarita. The Sabrina, um, the, 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 the medical degree program is examined by the state. So you need to have very good language skills because you're going to learn everything in German. But there are some technical courses, like, for example, if you would like to combine medical and computer science, you can enroll for an English program. Like, for example, we have one university also in, 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 in Bavaria offering informat health informatics. So that's a, a combination you can do. But pure medicine, you need to have very good German skills because you have to pass the first and the second state exams and everything is in German. Okay, thank you. Good, then uh, thank you so much. Feel free to reach out. We sent uh, initially, I can share it again, our WhatsApp number, you can get in touch if you, if you would like more help. And I will also share our link again where we help students. So if you're interested, you can also check there and contact us. We do help students just even by advising them not necessarily to come to Germany so that at least you can make the right decision before you board the plane and come here. 
So all the very best and thank you so much. And uh, thank you so much, Margarita, for the wonderful presentation. I actually saw some scenarios which I missed. I wish, Ben, we need to go back to Augsburg and redo all this now. <laughs> yes, of course, I mean. <laughs> It was my pleasure. Thank you for organizing the event. Yo, you're welcome. Yeah. Thank you and talk soon. Uh, Shing Shingai, I think, has a question. Yes. Thank you so much for the opportunity. I think I got interested. So I've got my son who's studying, who's finishing high school now. So he wants to study computer science because I see you've got international information systems. Do you have computer science in English at your university? Uh, general computer science bachelor program uh, is not available at this moment. Only bachelor program international information systems is starting in English and continues oh, okay. from the fourth semester in German language. But um, although it's starting in English, it's required to have some level of German language to enroll uh, for this program, not only for this program, but for all programs at our university. But international information system is an exception because the lectures are starting in English in the first three semester, so that uh, all the international students have uh, more time to um, improve their German language skills. But um, we do have a normal um, bachelor program computer science, but uh, it's starting in German language. Oh, okay, and then computer engineering. Computer engineering as well uh, in German language. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. Okay, so I'll hand over to Kumbi Rai to do the closing remark, unless Axel has something to say. <laughs> so, Kumbi Rai. I don't know what this is. I'll, yeah. Uh, thank you very much uh, to Margreta and all uh, Ben and all the other speakers for, for coming on board as well. Thank you, Caroline, for organizing this. And thank you to everyone who took their time to also be a part of this, uh, this event. I hope that we we'll continue partnering as well with Hochschule Augsburg going forward. And like Caroline said, uh, should be able to send you everyone uh, emails pertaining the information that we also got and yeah, I just, uh, I believe that uh, Germany offers uh, so many opportunities for young people, innovation, uh, but above all, the efficiency of the German system and timekeeping. So in keeping with time, I don't want to overstep. I'll say thank you. And uh, it was wonderful having you. Cheers. <laughs> yes, they keep time, they keep time. So. Yeah, all the very best. Uh, have a nice evening. And as Germans say, uh, ich wünsche euch einen wunderschönen Abend und bis bald. Danke. Guten Abend. Tschüss. Tschüss. Tschüss.